All right, I'm Dave Rat, and I have one last little bit that I thought of to do for this analog digital small format console comparison. Uh, last video, we compared the two consoles in overload mode, um, both overloading the mic pre and um, turning up uh, enough gain to overload somewhere else in the consoles and listen to the difference. What I'd like to do now is let's compare them with Pulse. Let's listen to the difference between the two consoles running a Pulse. See what happens. Because uh, overloading the guitar is going to give you that riz and the fuzz. The vocals give you that real blur sound and what we heard happen in these sine waves. Um, let's see what happens with a sharp Pulse like we did in the Pulse video. So I'm going to turn that on. Let's go ahead and increase the input gain and see what happens. You should be able to hear that. What we're seeing as we increase the gain is the top's flattening out. And back up again. And in the meter, you should be able to see these meters here, hopefully from that view, and see them driving it pretty hard. And let's look at Let's go ahead and listen. All right, let's go ahead and do that same thing with the digital console and see what it does to the pulse, which would be, you know, similar to like maybe a kick drum type thing. I'm gonna bring this down here. And on the digital console. So far so good, we look beautiful. And now we're starting to see something. Let's hear it. That's interesting. So even with the gain turned down to minus five, I can turn this popper up to the point where I'm actually distorting the input to the, the digital console, even though I'm not seeing the input peak. Um, it's distorting something before the peak light. And then if I bring the gain up, we can see its distortion continues. Bring the gain down to its lowest level, and it's still distorting. And as I turn the source down, I can see that it cleans up, and we can add gain to that. We can see that it's a good clean signal. Oh, there it's gone again. Let's turn it down here. And there we're seeing a clean signal. So let's do that same adventure with the analog console. Bringing it up, and this with the analog console turned all the way down, which all the way down on the analog console is zero, all the way down on the digital console is minus five. And I'm bringing now the drive from the popper is up all the way. We're not seeing distortion on the analog console. Now let's go ahead and drive the shit out of this thing.
And we'll do that for the digital console. All right, so, um, you know, I'm doing a lot of this stuff. I haven't actually listened to this yet. Um, all right, well, this is kind of fun. It was nice to see those waveforms. Uh, to be honest, it's the first time I've gone through it. Okay, cool, cool. This should wrap up the digital analog, and I'll tear this down and move on to new adventures. Thank you for joining me on this. Oh, and maybe... Uh, if the response is good and people are interested, I will do a similar adventure with large format consoles. I get a Heritage H3000 and a Digico, I don't know, SD10, SD12 or something, get something um, and put those side by side and do a parallel test and we can uh, look and see how the big boys respond to this same uh, interaction. Cool. All right.